Willie D Live. What's up, family? Two drivers are dead after an apparent road rage, which led to an all-out gunfight, even as one had two children in the back seat. It started Saturday just before 8 p.m. on the 210 freeway in Highland. According to witnesses, a motorcyclist, 38-year-old Jonathan McConnell of Corona, California, was lane spitting and clipped the sedan driven by 37-year-old Aaron Harris of Highland. Instead of pulling to the side of the freeway, the motorcyclist left the scene and drove to the parking lot of Joy's Lounge on Baseline Avenue in Highland. The sedan driver, Harris, pursued the motorcyclist to the parking lot. He had his two children in the car with him, ages two and five. When they arrived in the parking lot, the witness said the man in the sedan, with his children in the back seat, began yelling at the motorcyclist. They became confrontational. They both were armed. They pulled their guns and the shootout ensued. And each one of them down the other effectively ending their lives. Over what? A minor incident, a minor disagreement that would not have lasted more than 30 seconds. Blow it off, 30 seconds later, you own to something else. Did I mention the kids were in the car? Family, I know it's easier said than done, but you gotta think, you gotta use that brain. You don't know who you dealing with out there on them streets. You don't know who just got through shooting somebody and ready to shoot somebody else. You don't know what type of argument somebody just got into. You don't know what the state of mind is. You don't know if they said to themselves, the next time somebody tried me, the next time somebody cut me off, I'm gonna get them. You don't know. There are people out there that see you're crazy and will raise you their crazy. There are people out there that are just one incident away from killing somebody are getting themselves killed. And it could be you. Maybe you're the person who are one step away from killing somebody or getting yourself killed. One altercation away. One altercation away from getting yourself killed or killing somebody. Something as simple as blowing your horn will set some people up. Man, we, we, the uncivilized must have taken over. They're everywhere. People don't have a good understanding. People have a bad understanding. You should assume when you're out on the road that everybody is armed. Men, women, children, the dogs. Everybody is armed to the teeth. You should just assume, especially if somebody is behaving aggressively. Just a few days ago, a motorcyclist lane spit me. I mean, he came like that close to touching my vehicle. I ain't tripped. I just kept on going. You know, he came that close to touching a lot of people's vehicles. I didn't know what the rush was, but that was his story. He's gone by this business. I don't know if he eventually ran into somebody else's car or he had a wreck or made it safe. I don't know, but I know that he's out of my life. He's a crash dummy. Crash dummies are going to crash into something. Your job is to make sure that that crash dummy doesn't crash into you. That's your job. The crash dummy is going to get themselves hurt or they're going to hurt somebody or both. Either way, just move out of the way. Two families have been destroyed. Two children have irreversibly been traumatized. For what? A petty 
dispute. I got two rules that I live by out there on that road to avoid road rage. One, give grace. Sometimes I drive bad. I don't want nobody cussing me out. I don't want somebody pulling out a strap on me. So I have to think about that. Sometimes I drive a little too close to people. Sometimes I speak. I'm driving a little too fast. Sometimes I drive a little too slow. Sometimes I cut the lane. The second thing is every single time I get behind the wheel, I leave my ego at the crib. No more talk. 